Okay, here we are on the Diagnose tab now. Um, it's already assumed that you have your receiver bound to your transmitter, so if you don't have that by now, you need to. Um, right here, you want to make sure that you've actually got your endpoint adjustments set properly so that your radio is calibrated more or less to the fly wireless unit. So the way you check that is you've got your radio hooked up or turned on, you've got your, uh, your receiver uh, powered up with the heli command hooked up to it and you're gonna move your sticks on your radio to see where everything actually goes and as you can see right up here for example it's not touching that gray bar that goes across the top or on the bottom um, same thing with collective pitch it's not going all the way up to that gray bar nor to the bottom the same with the rudder the same with uh, the aileron as well as you can see up here and on that side. Also I've got a knob assigned to my uh, horizon mode channel uh, which is uh, or excuse me currently it's my head gain gyro channel head gyro channel as it's called on the software um, so that's also not going out to the proper endpoint um, so I'm going to adjust that as well. When I go into my radio and look at my gyro screen uh, it shows me 80% currently, and it shows 80% on the heli command. So if I actually adjust that up to 100, it actually stops perfectly, as you can see, at the gray bar. And this is just the default setting I'm talking about right here. So that gray bar is exactly where you want it to be. So if you go the other way, um, then you would adjust it on your radio. This is for the tail gyro, and you would have zero. If you wanted to reverse that, then in a Fataba radio, you change that from AVCS to normal, and then you would have zero, and then you can bring your gain back up, and it goes the rest of the other direction, which once you get to 100, it stops, and you've, you've got that set perfectly as well. Uh, if it's off, then you need to go in, into the endpoint adjustment and fix that. So right now, it's actually off just a little bit. If you go and look in that spot, right up there, it's a little bit past the gray bar. So you would want to adjust that in the endpoint adjustment on the radio. So I'm going to go ahead and set this back to 50, because that's going to be my starting point and back to ABCS and it brings it up to 50 on ABCS and that's where I'm going to start uh, when we when we actually hook everything up um, in my radio to get the proper gray bars on the other channels we need to set up the radio so that the endpoints are uh, getting us to the spot that we need to be. I'm still in my tail gyro channel so I'm going to change that and get back to the endpoint screen. And so for aileron it's these two numbers on the inside here. This is again a Fataba transmitter but these are the two numbers that we're going to manipulate. Same thing for the elevator. These two numbers right here. The throttle we're not messing with uh, has nothing to do with the fly wireless controller. The rudder we would adjust right here my next screen gyro this is for the tail gyro one side is is uh, adjusted for um, ABCS off or rate mode instead of heading hold and then the other side is for heading hold mode pitch is channel 6 I'll adjust these two inboard numbers governor I'm not using auxiliary 1 I have assigned to channel 8 and that's going to be for my um, head gyro channel so I'm going to go ahead, just because I know what what mine are, um, or really close to it anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back over here to aileron, and I'm going to set this to about uh, 118, 119 on both of these, just to give you an example. And then we'll come back up here and look at the software and see what we've got. Now remember that was the aileron. So with the aileron set, I move my aileron stick on my radio, and if I go all the way to the left, I'm actually just past the gray bar. When I let go, it's back at zero in the middle, 
So you want this to say zero. If it's not zero, then you could either adjust the trim on the front of the radio, or I would recommend uh, adjusting the sub trim inside the radio to get zero. Once you get past this page and all these endpoints are adjusted so that you're, you're at zero at the middle and you've got uh, you're stopping on the gray bar like we're good on the right hand side here because it stops exactly where that gray bar is right there. Um, on the left side it's not though. It is going in the left and right direction so that's good. I don't have to reverse anything. Um, but I need to fix the left side here because it's a little bit past the gray bar. So I'm going to go back down into the transmitter and I'm going to change that to a 118 and check it out and that looks good. So now it's stopping exactly on the gray bar there, exactly there. And then I know that on my radio now, when I come back down here, I've got 118 on the left side and 119 on the right side and that's what I'm going to leave it as. I'm going to go ahead and go to the other ones and set them as well just to see where where they end up. I'll put the same values. Don't care about throttle right now. Throttle you'll deal with with your ESC or your motor or whatever you've got going on depending on the type of model that you're using it on. And then you do want to go also to your uh, pitch And I'm just approximating on these right now, so they'll actually probably change just a little bit. Um, but we'll check all of them before we consider it good and write that to the unit. One thing to remember here is after you've got these set, you should have your trim and, and or any sub trim that you've used from the radio in order to achieve zero at the middle. Um, once you set it here and you've got zero, you do not need to use trim or sub trim anymore during the setup process. So again, we're still on the diagnose tab. And I'm on this, I'm looking at this spot right here. I just set those values in the radio. I'm, I'm, my collective pitch is a little bit high. So I'm going to go back to collective pitch and adjust it one. to get that down to the gray bar. So I ended up bringing it up to 120. So I've got 118 and 120. I'll check the high side and it stops on the gray bar so we're perfect there. Right up here on this on this spot and down below. Then I'm going to check the rudder. Go all the way left and it's good. All the way right and it's good on the gray bars. My aileron I already did. My elevator, it's a little bit uh, above the gray bar on the bottom. So I'm going to go back to that channel 2. And when I come down, now that's perfect. And it's perfect at the top. So I've got 118 and 120 there. And so I've, let's see, I've got pitch. I've got rudder. I've got aileron. I've got elevator, and then the last thing on my knob is to check the head gyro channel. I go all the way one direction, it's good. I go all the way the other direction, it's good. So I'm just going to, for now, I'm going to leave that at center and call it good. And once this is all done, All I'm going to do is hit OK Next. And then it tells me it's waiting for a neutral RC signal. So I'm going to make everything neutral. Ah, it's telling me that my aileron is not at, at zero. Okay, now that I, I just tapped my cyclic stick a little bit, it went to zero, and then it gives me the window to say, okay, next. So I hit next. 
says ensure the collective pitch has proper direction and covers the full range of each bar. We've already done that. All the way up, all the way down. And then we'll say, um, okay. And this takes us to our uh, help menu. It's just telling us now to go ahead and uh, from now on, don't make any other changes in the transmitter except for expo and dual rate, which is what I've already told you, as well as head gyro and tail gyro channels. With the HC3SX, HC3X base, you use servo travel for agility adjustment at a later moment. We're just doing the HC3SX, so at this point uh, we've got our collective, collective pitch stick to center, and we connect our servos according to the type of setup that we have. Again, since I'm using um, an S-Bus uh, setup. I'm going to set mine up according to the S-Bus configuration. Once I do that, I'm going to say OK, Next. And then that brings us to the Trim tab. So when you look up at the software, we're now on Trim.